Brian Cox has left to author J.K. Rowling's defense after her comments upset the transgender community, with the Succession star saying she is entitled to her opinion. J.K. Rowling, 57, has been at the center of a transphobic row after she commented on an article with the phrase people who menstruate. Succession star Brian Cox, 76, has spoken out about treatment of the Harry Potter author, slamming her high and mighty critics, while also claiming she is entitled to her opinion. Brian appeared on the BBC show Sunday with Laura Kunzberg this weekend, where he was asked about the award-winning author. He said as Metro reported, I don't like the way she has been treated, actually. Actually, I think she's entitled to her opinion, she's entitled to say what she feels, as a woman, she's very much entitled to say what she feels about her own body. There's nobody better to say as a woman. So I do feel that people have been a bit high and mighty about their attitude towards J.K. Rowling, quite frankly. J.K. Rowling came under fire in December 2019 when she tweeted in support of a British researcher, Maya Forstater, who was fired from the Center for Global Development over anti-trans stances. The author then later tweeted about taking issue with the phrase people who menstruate and has regularly since drawn criticism from the LGBTQ plus community. Critics turned on J.K. Rowling for reiterating ideologies that had been linked to the trans-exclusionary radical feminist, TERF, movement that often adopts the belief that trans women are not women. Despite Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson and organizations like GLAAD voicing opposition to the author, other Harry Potter stars have supported Rowling's right to express her opinion. Voldemort actor Rafe Fiennes told the New York Times last year. J.K. Rowling has written these great books about empowerment, about young children finding themselves as human beings. It's about how you become a better, stronger, more morally centered human being. The verbal abuse directed at her is disgusting, it's appalling. I mean, I can understand a viewpoint that might be angry at what she says about women. But it's not some obscene, uber right-wing fascist. It's just a woman saying, I am a woman and I feel I am a woman and I want to be able to say that I am a woman.